Hey, it's Lon Seidman here with another product review. This time we're looking at the Seagate Backup Plus Thunderbolt drive. This is a Mac drive, uh, but it's also uh, works with Windows machines that have a Thunderbolt port. Uh, this is it. It's uh, kind of a neat product, actually, and I'll get into why it's so neat in a second, but uh, it connects with the Thunderbolt Bolt protocol, and I'll just, um, I'm actually running a speed test on it as, we, as we're talking here. Uh, it uses these Thunderbolt connectors. It is completely bus-powered, so you don't need uh, another power source to make it work. Um, and it's basically two parts. It has a Thunderbolt sled, which is underneath uh, the drive, uh, and you can see the separation there, and the drive is on top here. And I'll, I'll show you in a minute uh, what you can do with this thing beyond just using Seagate's uh, built-in equipment. Um, but it is remarkably fast. And you can see here we're writing and reading at about 104 megabytes per second, which is, which is pretty fast and up to desktop speed. Uh, now granted, this uh, drive is a spinning disk. It's a typical uh, drive that you might find in a notebook computer. So uh, it has all the limitations that a spinning disk might have, um, but uh, it's certainly uh, no slouch here in the speed department. Now something though really interesting happens when you pull the drive off, and let me show you exactly what I mean here. So uh, this, this does come in two pieces, and as you can see here, uh, this is a standard SATA connector. Now if you're a computer geek, you, you certainly recognize this, and in fact uh, on the, the sled here it's also the same thing. And that means you can take any other SATA notebook drive, and I don't think a desktop drive will work because of the power requirements, uh, but you can take any desktop drive and just plug it in here, so we'll do that real quick. Um, and now you've got a solid state disk hooked up to your Thunderbolt. Now it's not the most ideal connection because as you can see here, it uh, doesn't fit all that well. So this is probably not a manufacturer recommended uh, way to do it, but uh, the speed you get on this thing is nothing short of amazing. So uh, let's take a look real quick at uh, what we've got going here. So this is a solid state disk from Intel. It is a 240 gig drive. It's running, uh, I think it's running a Sandforce chipset, which is pretty typical out there right now. Uh, we're getting about 255 megabytes per second right, almost oh, more than double the speed of the drive that it comes with, and more than three times the speed uh, of the reading uh, component. And you can see uh, on the list here from Blackmagic just how many uh, video formats it can support uh, at that speed as it goes. So uh, pretty remarkable speed that you can get uh, with the sled portion of this product. So the terabyte hard drive is nice, certainly for archiving. And, and I think if you're doing a lot of video work, it's a nice thing to have a terabyte in your pocket just to, to be able to access it. And 100 megabytes a second is not bad at all. Uh, but of course, as you can see here as we're running this test, you can just swap out uh, the hard drive, plug in any of the uh, really fast solid state disks that are out in the market right now. And a lot of them are under $200. SanDisk, uh, OCZ, uh, and some others. You can get a pretty decent size, 240 gig or better drive, uh, pop it into the sled and get a lot of speed uh, for doing uh, really intensive applications through the Thunderbolt port. So uh, highly recommend it. It is a great product on its own, but even better uh, because you can swap out the drive and pretty much put in any other drive you might have laying around. I'm Lon Simon. Thanks for watching my review.